that? So I want to give you all an update. You might remember Aaron from back in April. He was the adorable small white dog who got around using a wheelchair. I'll here he is that, right yeah. here. We all fell in love with him. Now, he was brought on the show with St. Francis Animal Hospital to help him find a home after his owners had to give him up after he lost movement in those two back legs. Now, fortunately for Aaron, he now has a new name. It is Scooter Jack. <laughs> And he has a new family, and I got the chance to meet them. Take a look. Thank you. Did you say? I came in uh, unexpectedly from work one day. I had the day off, and he was on your television show. I said, oh, I have to have that dog. I have to have him. He's awesome. So when Fred came in, I said, Fred, Fred, you got to see this dog. He is so cute. So then I had him, and he came in, and he said, okay, if you want him. Tamara Huntley knew she had to have this pup after seeing him a few months ago on River City Live formerly known as Aaron, but now goes by Scooter Jack. Of course he was adorable, but she says he was also inspirational. Even though he had a bit of a handicap, which you know a lot of us have one internally or externally, his was visible, and the fact that he was just flying across stage with the biggest smile and so happy and that just really impressed me. I thought, you know how many people that will make happy? Earlier this year, the six-year-old Cocker Spaniel or Maltese Mick suddenly became paralyzed in his back legs, and his previous owner took him into St. Francis Animal Hospital. He didn't, he didn't gain any use of his legs, so his family uh, decided that they couldn't keep him because they couldn't care for him in his new, in his new normal, and uh, so they surrendered him to us. Sandy Golding says they were determined to find him a new home. Being a special needs dog, we knew it wouldn't be very easy, and um, but he was such a sweet boy, we knew that somebody out there would want to have uh, this little special guy, and so we reached out to uh, Channel 4, and we were so glad that you guys were able to do a story about him because it helped get the word out much further than we were able to get the word out. You probably know where this story goes next. Tamara and her husband Fred decided to test Scooter Jack living with them and their two other dogs. Brutus and Cleo definitely took some time accepting a new addition into the family, but needless to say, Scooter Jack wasn't going anywhere. I looked at him and I said, you know, that's a nice dog, and then more I had to do with him. We took him for a walk in his little chair, you know, whatever you call it, a wheelchair, and um, he was just so happy running along and so on and so forth. It was really a good dog. He uses his wheelchair when they go on walks, but his new parents like him to be without it as much as possible, so he has more freedom. These little booties help protect his back paws. What we do is we have an, uh, an exercise regiment that we follow, so he's out of the scooter unless we actually go outside. But once he's outside, I like him in the scooter because he um, it's just difficult to rub his toes raw and things, and that's not good. But he does well with it, and he, but he's so awesome. He, if I put his leash down while he's in the scooter, he'll stop and just wait for me to come and get him. He won't move. <laughs> Inside, he can slide around the, the floors pretty good, yeah. the hardwood floors and tile. And, yeah. Uh, he doesn't have any trouble. And he likes the freedom, actually. He prefers to be completely closeless. <laughs> <laughs> scooter Jack is bringing joy to Tamara and Fred, but also to seniors that Tamara helps take care of, like Eddie. Loves Eddie. Oh, he loves Eddie. And that was funny. The first couple of weeks that we had him, I noticed what was so funny. He would go in and sit there and wait for Eddie. If Eddie broke his pattern at all, he would just sit there and wait and wait and wait and wait until Eddie got up. They're happy to be able to give Scooter Hello. Jack a long, <laughs> healthy life. But he isn't the only one who is going to benefit from this new relationship. He's a very good, strong inspiration for me. And plus, he just in, and I like to take him out, and that brightens my day, too, when I see the smiles on everybody else's faces. Let's just say Scooter Jack is living the life. Shades, surfboard, and all. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. Oh, it made me so happy yeah. to see him so happy. And to make the story even better, they are right now training him to be a therapy dog wow. because they see how great he is with people in nursing homes. They also want to be able to take him to visit children in hospitals and just really brighten up more people's lives. So he's perfect for that. And St. Francis Animal Hospital, the ones behind finding him the new home, you can find their website on our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com, to learn more. Scooter Jack, I like the Scooter name too. Jack. He's got a great family now. Yes, he I does. Like, well, thanks for the update. Oh, yes. All right more River City Live coming up right up